بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي In today's lesson I would like to show you how we can set colors for different sections in advanced steel As we know while uh, we have a large model um, and working on it, working, working on detailing and modeling, it's better for us and it's easier to see each type, each sections with different color. There are many ways to, to, to do uh, this, but I will uh, try to give you the easiest way to do this. So uh, stay. Uh, Till the end and watch all the video and before I start I want to ask you to subscribe my channel and share and like this video so uh, let's get started okay so here I'm uh, in advanced still and uh, I will show you uh, the this technique uh, first of all first of all I have to know how many sections that I have that I used in my project uh, so uh, I could give each type of section give it a specified color how we can do that you may uh, tell me that we can uh, go to output and we make uh, BOM bill of material yeah it's right or we can go to make drawings and after that uh, take the uh, drawing list in that one again it's true but I don't want to waste my time and I want to give uh, give you uh, another information and we will see together another uh, important technique is from here from home tab uh, go to model browse and you see uh, this model browse this contains every uh, single <coughs> sorry every single part that exists on, on uh, in my model you see I have IP 2020, 20, uh, 2040, and IP 400. See? Okay. So I have uh, three types of sections. Again, I can, I can uh, specify color for bolts. If I have bolts, anchor bolts, or any type of, of um, and things. Anyhow, so after that, uh, after I know that, uh, I knew that uh, I have three. Uh, sections I can go to uh, pro project explorer and I have to uh, make some curious okay just click here and uh, from complete model new marking and assign color uh, be sure that this is the, this complete model and this new marking and this assign color and after that you can go to beams because we have uh, beams uh, as you know in advanced steel both columns and beams is the same uh, I think so steel beams uh, click here my beam is uh, I have IP as I so showed you before IP 220 okay just you can save it and name it as IP 220 okay so just click OK after that another query again complete model not new marking this time this time add to marking okay and assign color let's say magenta and beams steel beams here uh, we have to select the uh, section that we have and this time we have IP 240 and save name it IP 240 and click OK and okay you see now again for the third time for this one uh, create new query complete model add to marking and let's say this time we need yellow uh, go to beams steel beams we select the section that uh, we have just like before uh, and save this IP e 400 okay and okay so you see uh, each one take its uh, it is 
in color but still we have some problems what's the problem uh, we have if, if we uh, select uh, only this one let's say for example this one you see sometimes as you see you have this is just just a marking sometimes when uh, we we uh, remove marking here uh, yeah you see everything uh, goes to the zero point but I want to I want to show you the thing that uh, it will be fixed the color okay how we can do that we can bring PR properties window as you see here and now we can select uh, just click here to select every IP 220 and select everything give it from here and give it a color you see color by layer uh, uh for example give it magenta and this one uh, this time this one remove this one just click ip 20, uh, 240 click it select everything color and we need uh, let's say red after that click here and click here just we want to ip 400 select it the color is by layer change to yellow after that we can close this window and go to click here you see now everything is okay and even if you uh sorry even if you uh remove marking the nothing nothing is uh marked so it will remain like this so we have each type of uh of beams if each type of part take its uh, its color as you see here okay so this is the, the thing that I, I want to show you uh, and uh, I think it's better for us when we are working with that even where we can we can put for plates plates for example the difference between plates some plates if you have some plates is uh, 20 millimeters uh, some other is 15 millimeters like this uh, just like um, we did before we can select everything uh, we have uh, we can uh, make new query uh, objects first uh, what type of object you have uh, steel beam concrete beam as lot footing continuous footing bolts and cross holes what type of, of uh, things that we have uh, with uh, which is exist uh, in advanced steel uh, here we have a uh, common properties we can uh, select by material by coating by what type of uh, there are many 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 uh, filters that we can select with it behaviors beams cumber and footings planner elements here uh, we, we can uh, play, uh, with plate thickness and so on so uh, this for today I uh, hope you enjoyed guys and uh, thank you very much don't forget to like uh, and share this video and subscribe my channel